Don't worry, I'll get you there in plenty of time. Can't have you being late on your first day, can we? George, you did say I could take the job. I'll only be gone for a couple of hours tonight. And this way you can check out the club and see if it's suitable. Like you'll change your mind if it isn't. Hmm, you're learning. George! What do you think you're doing? Morning, Gracie. You've got a fitness test to pass. Put your trainers on. Well, that can wait. No, it can't. Get a move on. Bloody women. trying to get you some breakfast you need taking in hand no i don't well sit down there's fresh tea in the pot actually i'm going to get something at the station this is hardly the way to impress the girls you know can you just leave that what's up lisa don't come the innocent with me you turn up here unannounced. It's been off. 11 years, Dad. Yeah, whatever. But you still haven't told me why. Well, Mum's away. Seemed like a good idea. So, how long do you intend to stay? Does it matter? Well, yes, it does. I can't exactly put my life on hold for you. I'm not asking you to. Look, you're going to be late for work. Yeah. Yes, I am. I'll be back later tonight. And I shall expect some straight answers. No, oh, you finished that quickly? Yes, I wanted to read it for ages, but I couldn't get my hands on a copy. Well, I've got a few more where that came from. Well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a collector. Uh, you could come round sometime, see if there's any you haven't read. Tonight? Grab a drink first? Yeah, if you like. All right. All yeah. right. Mm. Morning. Them. Yeah, I'll be over at Shabrick, won't they? Our arsonist friend's been keeping them busy. You'd have thought the police would have had a lead by now. Yeah, morning, Jeff. Morning. Morning, Bloody hell, it's Godzilla. Come on, George. Oh. Hey, come on, Lord Ass. <laughs> nice one, George. Oh. oh, you'll kill me, Gracie. He's right. Too much exertion for someone in George's condition could be dangerous. What do you mean, Mike? Make sure this exit's kept clear at all times. Well, You're stopping out. us from being able to do our job properly. Okay, mate. All right, I'm moving it. All right, all right. Well, come on. I'm all not right. going to ask you okay, again. Fair enough. I'm moving it. All right. Morning, sir. You should have dealt with that, Jeff. Do I have to do everything myself? Who rattled his cage? Why, at work, would have done the trick. Don't start, Jeff. What? We all know he's the same rank as you, Jeff. You don't need to remind us. Blue watch detail, sir. OK, listen up. I've just been informed by Brigade that the Jamestown Road fire was definitely the work of the torch. I'm sure I don't need to tell you this, but if we have got a serial arsonist on our patch, we do need to be extra vigilant. Right, as soon as you've done your checks, you can clear up this litter from the yard. Sir. Sub, something wrong? We don't normally do that after roll call, sir. Well, a new broom sweeps clean, as they say. Carry on. Yes, sir. Blue watch, blue watch, Shen. For your duties, fall out. 
Sorry, sir, there was no intention to question your authority. Well, no, I'm sure there wasn't, Jeff. As someone who hasn't got station officer qualifications, I'm sure you know better than to question the authority of someone who has. All right, Jeff. All right, let's get on. Never learn. Two bulletins in one day, eh, Jeff? I don't think you're creating the right impression there, son. I wouldn't say that. Mind you, I think we'd all feel a bit happier if you knew more about him. You must know people through the union, Rico. No way. I'll leave the tittle-tattle to the experts. Look what you did. Don't tell me a mother wraps all your Christmas presents. Hello, Nick. Thought you might need it next time you run off without me. Luck might not hold out forever, you know. Some poor rabbit's been crippled for this. It's not real. Fake! Oh, I see. So I'm not worth the real thing, is that it? Well, thanks very much, but you can have it back. It gives me the creeps anyway. Look at that. What? Look at that. Oi! Keep your hands to yourself. That's sexual harassment, that is. I'll have you reported to Pierce. Yeah? And he'd be jealous that I got in first, that's all. Right, you. Oi, get out of here. Oi, oi, oi. What's going on? Nothing. It's just a bit of fitness training. Yeah, no, you've got to look me best for the old photographer. I can't have me uh, barely distracting attention from me O's, can I? There is no call for fooling around. No, we weren't fooling around. It's, it's very serious business, this calendar. I think it's a load of bollocks. Where's your manly pride recall? George is up for it, aren't you? I reckon it's down to these two matinee idols here anyway. We'll cover in that case. You reckon? <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll see who's fittest. First, the top of the tower. All right, you're on. Call it. I reckon you're going to have to sort it out later. Yeah. Man in precarious position, Sandville Road, both. Here, that's sent for Barrow Street HP as well. Cool. Do you know what that means, don't you? Well, you'll see. Jeffrey. Brilliant. This is temporary station officer Hammond. Boy. Morning, sir. The gentleman in question's up there. George, pass the load hater, would you? I made several attempts to communicate without success. About average for you, cling film. He's not a jumper, then. You want to, just... He looks rather distressed. Can you hear me up there? What's he trying to say? I don't know. Dan? Go. Do you want to get in the cage? See if you can get close enough to get him. Certainly. Get aboard, young man. Sally, keep an eye out for cars. There's just enough room for him to squeeze by there. Go. What, is he a mate of yours then, or what? Mate? They're practically married. Better work, that's all I can say. Of course it will. Wouldn't spin you a line? No. What, my favourite firefighter, never? You're a soft bugger. <laughs> you all right, mate? We'll get you down soon. I think he's dead. How can you be so sure? We're getting somewhere. I'm telling him to relax. Oh, I see. I think he's been attempting to adjust his aerial there. Well, you'd have thought... Will you please shut this... up? We need to concentrate. Can you move us in closer? 
Does he know we're going to do that? Just do it. The longer you take, the more shit scared he becomes. Are you doing anything later? Why? Oh, I just thought you could go out for a drink or something. You wouldn't be suggesting a date, would you? No, no, no. no. You know, I just thought we could uh, go for a drink outside work. We have a laugh, don't we? Yeah. Would Jackie be coming? No, she's working. You're either really stupid or you've got some nerve. Think about it. Come on. You can do it. Can you get us in any closer? Concentrate, will you? Just get the case in before he dies of shock. What is your mate playing at? Come on. Sorry, Grace, I only thought we could go out, you know, for a drink as mates. As mates? Are you sure about that? Positive. Hey, well done, mate. Well, well, well. Sign language too, eh? Is there anything you don't do? My hero. Right, well done. Is he all right? Yeah. No thanks to him. All right, Vernon. I don't know about that new man of yours, Jeffrey. He's got a lot to learn about man management skills. He's new to the job. Just what were you doing up there? I'm sorry, I don't feel I've got anything to reproach myself for. People like you should have been pensioned off years ago. All right, Dan, that's enough. Major point. Nobody's perfect. So, we'll see you soon, Vernon. Yeah, very well, Jeffrey. We'll have to organise one of our little trips soon. Hmm? Maybe. Little trips? With him? Oh, Vernon's lonely. He needed the company. Sort of pity. Put you back up one of your own watch first. Oh, come on, Dan. I'm, I'm just disappointed, Jeff. I thought we were mates. Right, I'm going for a run. Who fancies it? Uh, no, thanks, mate. Right, I'll be off then. See ya. See you, George. Yeah, see you, George. See you later. Girlfriend, George! Remember, no pain, no gain. You come to the pub? Oh, you can't. You've got Jackie to think about. No, no, I could come for one. I mean, Jackie's working late, so... Fair enough. You come in? Yeah, that'd be good, yeah. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Jeff? Um, well, you could come as well. Oh, well, no, thank you. No, no. Uh, you go and enjoy yourselves. I'll pop round another time. I'll get the bus home. Right. Jack? Nah, not me. Rico? Yeah, I'll come for one. Great. Right. Night right, then. Night, right, Jack. Fancy a walk? Yeah, I think it's down there. Oh, is Terry here? I'm supposed to be meeting him. Learning the ropes behind the bar. Uh, it's Kelly, isn't it? Yeah. Terry told me to expect you. You must be George. Yeah, how you doing? Terry had to go out west, so he asked me to take care of things. Uh, do you want a drink? It's on the house, of course. No, no, I can't. I've got to get down to the gym. Bye. 
Some other time, eh? Yeah, you're on, yeah, yeah. You'll look after it for me, won't you? That'd be too, George. Yeah. I'll pick it up later. Yeah. See ya. Come, love. I'll show you around. I wasn't sure you'd agree to come. Nor was I. This just feels... furtive. We don't have too many alternatives, do we? You must have wanted to see me, though. I didn't have much choice, did I? Yeah. You know what I'm like when I set my mind on something. Jack, this is so easy for you. You would go berserk if you knew I was meeting you like this. But you came. There's still something between us, isn't there? There you go again. We're divorced, Jack. I've got another life now. But you still love me, don't you? I've got the boys and Ian to consider. You're not answering my question. Stop pushing me, Jack. You don't love me. You just want to control me. That's just not true. You only think you want me back because you can't bear the thought of me belonging to someone else. If you tell me you love Ian and you want to stay with him, I'll walk away. Sexist. You ought to hear some of me a six boys, George. Oh, no, come on, who's for another? No, no, it's my round. Three quarters, give us a hand. A two pints of lager, please. I'm glad you came. Yeah. So, how come you don't want to be in this calendar then? Oh, I don't know. I'll never make a playgirl centrefold, will I? You underestimate yourself. Do I? Yeah. It's time to start living again, Rico. That's what Maggie keeps saying. Yeah, well, she's right. I reckon you're probably just a bit rusty. Rusty? At what? Cherche la femme. Tell you what, why don't we move on somewhere a bit lively? What, you mean, uh... Yeah, just you and me. What? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Good. Cheers. We should leave things well alone, Jack. We tried. It didn't work. End of story. We're right for each other, Lynn. You've always known that. All you've got to do is admit it to yourself. Wasn't difficult. Stop. This isn't right. A call. What? So we're not invited? What your car? It's meeting Jackie, aren't you? Well, someone's got to stay and keep him company. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, well, uh, see you, guys. See you. See you. <laughs> You're wasting your time with her, you know. You're the one that's wasting your time. Who's sniffing round her? You are, mate. Oh. Jack. All right, Jack, um, this is Dan. Hi. Hey. Well, um, I'll, um, see you tomorrow, then. Yeah. See you. Alright? Yeah. You gonna see these flats then? Hi. Oh, I hope you don't mind. I found it in the back of the cupboard. Of course not. Look, Lisa, I know what you're trying to do. I spoke to your mum today. She 
She's not on holiday, is she? She's at home, worried sick about you. Why did you have to call her? Because I couldn't get a straight answer out of you. I don't think this is going to work. I think you should go home. But, Dad, I... You haven't seen the Pirates of Penzance, have you? You're not going to play him that. Well, the job of a DJ is to educate as well as to entertain. I mean, for instance, I bet you didn't know that W.S. Gilbert died of a heart attack while saving a girl from drowning. Well, that'll cheer them all up in the cardiac unit. Are you sure you don't want some? And since you started this DJ business, you never get the chance to talk. Uh, no, thanks. I'll get something at the hospital. Well, have a cup of tea or something. Five minutes with you would be nice. Where well, that blazes, is it? Oh. Alma Cogan. I could play that instead, I suppose. But are you listening to me? I haven't thrown it away, have you, Jean? No. Could you spare me a minute? I'm sure your listeners can do without Pirates of Penzance for one night. Oh, there it is. Right. I better be going. Sorry. You want to be for something? Nothing that can't keep. Well, if you're sure. Yeah, I'm sure. But not keep your listeners waiting. No, no, absolutely right. My love. With that will I tread upon the gravy steel in silence dread across the square we feel. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye bye. Always wanted a real fire, wasn't it, Feb? Mm. You didn't notice it, did you? Yeah, of course I did. You're a crap liar, Joe Walker. Six places in the last week, and you've not had a good word to say about any of Look, them. Look, I just want to find somewhere I like, all right? What, are you sure you want to find a place at all? Oh, come on, that ain't fair. Well, if you're so keen, prove it. You can find somewhere. Your wife must have been bonkers to let you go. I reckon. So? Can you see any of your fancy? <laughs> what about her over there? She was looking at you before. You sure? Yeah, I suppose. So, go for it. Sally. Go on. I'm off now then. Thanks for helping me. So I am to your husband. Thought he was going to pick you up. Something must have come up. Urgent, I hope. I'm sure it was. Good night. Hey, I'll give you a lift. No, thanks. A bit dodgy buses this time of night. I'll be fine, thank you. <laughs> Wolverhampton? Uh, no, no, I've never been there. I've been to Solihull. Yeah, Solihull. I can't remember why, now. Yeah, it, it was for a funeral. Uh, look, can I get you another drink? No, thanks. We're going on somewhere in the All right. OK, well, nice talking, eh? Well? I don't think we've quite clicked somehow. Went to my fishing machine. Sorry, just not my scene. Oh. Who was that bloke there? Oh, just a bloke wanted a bad light. I thought you might have bought for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no. What's this?
I put yours in the oven. Oh, so I'm allowed to eat before I go, am I? This isn't my fault, you know. How do you expect me to react when all you've done since you've walked through that door is lie? Oh, and I wonder where I get that from. What's that supposed to mean? Well, you wouldn't know the truth if you fell over it, according to... We have to be straight with each other, Lisa. Or like you were with Mum, you mean. Listen to me. What happened between me and your mother is our business. This is you we're talking about. I wanted to see you. That's all. And I have no problem with that. But there's your mother to consider. And she's blaming me for all of this. Oh, join the club. I bet she's really mad with me. Yes. Furious. Look, I've just had enough of her. I don't want to go back. Well, you've got to. You can't stay here. Well, I don't see why not. I mean, I've left school. You've got the room. Look, I could help out around the flat. Look, Lisa. You don't even know me. But that's why I'm here. It's not that simple. I think it is. You couldn't care less about me. No, that's not true. You never wrote, send me a birthday card, nothing. You don't give a shit and you never have done. Shortly after the gondoliers, the partnership founded when Sullivan refused to back Gilbert in a dispute with Doily Card. An angry Gilbert contracted gout while Sullivan went off to fight a long-standing liver complaint. Jane, what are you doing here? Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my wife just walked in. Put a record on you. Anyway, from that wonderful show, which uh, I once actually directed to great critical acclaim, here's one of their finest songs, Take a Pair of Sparkling Eyes. What's going on? We need to talk. What about? Well, you, you know what I was saying to you earlier? About wanting to talk. Yes? Thanks for the moral support. Mum and me split up. She wanted a clean break. She didn't want me to keep in touch. Didn't want the um... the inconvenience. No. Listen, Lisa. She. If you'd have cared about me, you'd have fought for access. If you'd have cared about me, you'd have sent one measly bloody prison in all these years. If you'd have cared about me, you Please never would have left. It was tough for me, too. I'm sure. It really wasn't easy leaving you behind. I wasn't much older than you are now. I had to move on. Well, at least you're all right. I'm not proud of what happened, Lisa. You know, there's hardly a day that goes by without me thinking of you. Wondering why you left. You've no idea the lies I've told to cover why you weren't around. You can stay. For a while. I mean, I know 
know we've had our ups and downs, but basically, like you, I still think the two of us have rubbed along together quite well. I'm sorry, Jean. You've completely lost me here. Can you come to the point? Suppose if instead of just two of us, there was three. Three? Three. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jean, I am not. Repeat, not having your mother move in with us. But... You know perfectly well. We don't see eye to eye about anything. But will you listen? In fact, if she moves in, I move out. But I am not talking about my mother. Can you just hold on a minute? I've got to address my listeners. Uh, sorry about that slight hiatus, everybody. We're having a few technical problems here. I'm talking about a baby. And now for a complete change of mood. Let's listen to the incomparable Kathleen Ferrier singing. A baby? I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Pregnant? <laughs> Tease up. I think you might need something a bit stronger than that. Well, it's not every day. You're right. Still a bit of a shock. To say the least. I mean, I don't really understand. I mean, how? It's strange, isn't it? I think we both accepted a long time ago this was never going to happen. It'll be all right, though, won't it? I hope. <laughs> OK, look, I better be off. You are pleased, though, aren't you? Yeah. Yes. But you're going to make a great dad. Well, I'll certainly be doing my best. Bye, darling. Bye. That's a lot. Right. Want a hand? No, not from you, I don't. It's got to be done properly. Well, I should get out from under your feet, then. Mm. Urgent appointment at the bookies, is it? We've been together too long. Go on, go. You can help Maureen on the door when you come back. Right. Put a couple of quid on for me. You got any tips? Yes, get out of here. Well, oh, they're running at Doncaster, is it? <laughs> Why them windows? Right, mate. Thing, Tom, who can or what? No, I assure you, sir. Give me a minute. Daniel. Oh, Mr. Chapman. Good to see you. You're getting on all right? Um, yeah, thanks. He's doing very well, sir. Good. Well, I can't really talk now. I'm due to see temporary station officer Hammond, but uh, no doubt we'll have a chance another time. Of course. Wow. You are on it. Sorry? The old Chapman. Do you know him? Yeah. From training. Dio doesn't normally bother with the likes of us. You must have made quite an impression. Yeah. Uh, it's not quite as simple as that. Um, look, um, I don't want this to go any further. No, of course not. Chapman knew my father. Knew? Yeah, he died. Uh, at the Sharps Road Blast. He was a firefighter? 
Yeah. Look, um, I'd better get on. What would they do without me? What did you get to last night, Rico? Uh, this wine bar, Sonny knows. Uh, probably out of market. You had a good night, then? Yeah, we did as it goes. Is it ready yet? Made some stuff. Nearly. First paper pair of sparkling eyes, isn't it, Bert? Dead right, Maggie. Oh, I love that tune. Don't seem to get it out of my head at the moment. Oh, I know. Some tunes are like that. They reverberate. Well, that one's certainly reverberating with me, I can tell you. Governor not dining with us today. Unlikely. Still got D.O. Chapman with him. It's a shame. It's nice to have a boss that likes mixing with the hounds. I'm not so sure. Station officer George Yardis believes that those in authority should maintain a certain distance, and I think he's right. That's bollocks, Jeff. You've either got authority or you haven't. Anyway, Jeffrey, if you're so keen on Chris being upstairs, you won't mind volunteering to take his dinner up to him, will you? Jeffrey Pierce has been singing your praises. Really? Well, that's a kiss of death for me, then. How are you getting on with him? Oh, I'd say he was still sussing me out. <laughs> You'll be enjoying that, knowing Pierce. I think I've, uh, I think I've got the measure of him. Good. Blue Watch has been through a period of considerable instability recently. We wouldn't have asked you to do this job if we hadn't felt that you were exactly the man to consolidate things. Thank you, sir. I'll do my best. I'm sure. Go. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't realise you were still here. I would have brought you some too. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Mr Hammond's running this watch well enough without me getting under his feet. Yes, sir. Any problems, page me. Sir. Is that supposed to be some kind of threat? Hang on a second, will you? I've got to get on. I'll call you later. Sorry to intrude, sir. Um, have you finished with your plate? Yeah, thanks. Anything important? No. Something and nothing. Issuing Scout Hub, Benedict Street, multiple calls received. Shadbrook attending, both.
Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Anyone else? I don't think so. All right. Recall, purpose reported. Oh, Jeff, so you're going in. He's working there. Uh, Sir, Jack, you left her in. There go. Okay, okay, we'll get her out. Joe, Dan, get rigged up now. Go. 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 Watch your backs. That button's got a plumber's label on it. Right, move it now. George, help Sally. Stand well back, mate. Keep out of the way. We're doing the best we can. I should have stayed. I could have got her out. You don't know that. Just let's get on with it. Shit! Full of fillers, Gov. Pull it out with the pump. What about the handbrake? All right, try and release if you can, but don't hang around. Yeah, yeah, let's just get out of the way, eh? Let's get a line up. What are you doing? Oh, don't you get us? We're doing that. No, you're not. You're messing about with that fan. We're it, she? Look, mate, you wouldn't stand a chance in there. What about her, then? What chance has she got? Look, I know how you feel. No, you don't. Just leave it to us. longer. What are they doing in there? Why haven't they got her out? It's only ever beat her. What would I do? I know, mate. I know. Keep your fingers crossed, eh? Good, Jeff. Right, they're bringing you around. Jack, we're trying to take her. Let by, Gov. No, stay there, sir. Keep back. It's all right, love. Your husband's here. Look at her. It's all right, mate. Just leave it to us, yeah? All right, well done, George. Oh. Any idea how it started, sir? Just had a quick look round, Gov. It looks like it was set round the back. Right. Dan, see those kids over there? Get over with them, see if they know anything about this. Right, now. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's 
told you she'd be alright. Thank God for that. Okay, that's the ambulance. We'll have you on board straight away. So you don't know who could have started that fire? But why not? Look, I'm not making accusations, but whoever lit that fire needs to realise the consequences of what they've done. He's right. An old lady's life can put a serious risk. Jeff, let me deal with this. I've already said it weren't us. The ones round the back have led me. Are you quite sure about that? Yeah, you're saying I'm lying. I wouldn't be surprised. Jeff, leave it. Piss off, mate. I'm telling the truth. Oi! I'll have a bit less of your lip, young man. I'll get lost. Now listen here. Come on, Scott. Oi! Oi! All right, Dan? Yeah. Great. Jeff, can I have a quick word? Sure. From what I could see, Dan seemed to be handling that situation okay. Oh, you heard their cheeks, huh? Yes, and they're kids, Jeff. They're not the bloody torch. Now, all your intervention did was inflame things. Jack? You gonna help us get this place turned over? Yeah, sure. Jack? You all right? Yeah. Why? No reason. Just wanted to make sure. Gov. Again. It's all right. I'll deal with this. Ah, oh, it's Mr. Hammond's friend, isn't it? You could say that. We'll be off duty soon, but would you mind parking your car out in the street? I'm sure Chris won't mind me parking here. All right, Jeff. Leave this to me. It's all right, sir. I'm just asking your pal to move his car. I said I'll deal with it. Okay. Right, now you tell him he'll get his money, but not tonight. He won't be happy. Just tell him. Your friend all right, sir? It doesn't matter if he is or isn't. It's my business, and I'd appreciate it if you kept your nose out of it. It's only doing what you asked me to, sir. Moving people on or on the way. No wonder they call you poison. Any chance to stir and you take it. You're a fishwife, Pierce. You're not a firefighter. You couldn't be more wrong, sir. And I... you've yet to prove to me that you can do this job. So you better buck your ideas up sharpish. Or we may just have to part company. 